comes to couples, they're my hero. Vince Vaughn plays a man who finds out his best friend's wife is having an affair, and if he tells him, it could ruin their chances at a major business deal. That's the dilemma. Vince Vaughn's career is kind of like a roller coaster ride. He started out with a major high in Swingers, then went painfully low in Jurassic Park 2 and a remake of Psycho. He gained back some fans with Made, Old School, and Dodgeball until hitting the comedy crescendo of his career in 2005 with Wedding Crashers. Since then, it's been an unsettling drop into rom-com purgatory. So AJ, does the dilemma make you wish the ride would keep going, or are you sick to your stomach from the ups and downs? Well, Pat, I'm a little nauseous from Vaughn's up and down career, but I'm not ready to stop the crazy ride. That there's something that I have to fix. Oh God, hey, oh God. You're not fixing anything. You're breaking more stuff. You killed my fish. I'm sorry. This film has a pretty realistic premise, but the plot and delivery are clunky and at times awkward and dull, which is mystifying because its director, Ron Howard, created my favorite true-to-life comedy, Parenthood. He's just asleep at the wheel here. Vince Vaughn, he's delivered some chuckles, but everyone else basically just falls flat. You know, Vince Vaughn ultimately plays the same character in all of his movies. He's a fast-talking, wise guy who loves his best friend, but somehow he continues to find ways to add new charm to that same character. And even though I might not want him to, he almost always wins me over. And I really liked him in this film. You gotta go right up to him and you gotta say it to him. Nick, here's the truth. You're gonna be okay. I love you, my man. Come here. Why is that man hugging himself? Just keep walking. This film was definitely interesting to watch because I thought it had more of a serious and funny feel to it, whereas those other buddy comedies, Old School, Wedding Crashers, they're just funny and sans seriousness. The Dilemma takes a look at relationship issues from the guy's side and how you handle telling your best friend something he doesn't want to hear. I think it's a nice change from the usual gushy chick flick, and I say it's worth the price of admission. I have to go the other way on here, AJ. I think that The Dilemma could have been a good movie, but... Ron Howard just chose not to make that film. It's, a, it's very apparent that he just said, hey guys, I'm throwing a half the script, just do your own thing and hopefully it'll work out. And none of that does. Queen Latifah, Kevin James, none of their jokes are funny at all and at times just slapstick ridiculousness. So it's not worth the price of admission. I mean, how do you make a film where Kevin James does not get hit in the face at least once? Well, he hits Vince Vaughn in the face. Mm, true.